Hi friends, let's solve this one more problem. Determine the Thevenin and Norton equivalent circuits. Draw the equivalent circuits labeling the terminals to corresponding with the original circuit. So, here it is also simple. Uh, it's having 160 volt source and 1 2 amps current source and the resistors connected in a random fashion. Let's analyze for the RTH. The step one is that you just short circuit all independent voltage sources and open circuit all the independent current sources. Let's do that and draw the equivalent circuit how it looks like. See this is uh, 30 ohm resistance, this is 30 ohms resistance and here it is 40 ohm resistance because the 2 amps voltage is the open circuit. So the resistance looking into these two terminals is orthominal. Clearly this two 30 ohm resistances are in series and this entire combination is in parallel with 60 ohms resistance. So clearly 30 plus 30 this part is in parallel with 40 ohms resistance. So clearly 30 plus 30 plus 40 ohm. Clearly it is 60. Sorry, this is a multiplication symbol should be there. Clearly 60 multiplied with 40 over 60 plus 40 that is nothing but 100. So it is 24 ohm. Clearly RTH is 24 ohms. That is a part 1 that is already over. Now let us calculate for VTH. Clearly this 60 volt voltage source is in series with both these resistance. 30 ohm and 30 ohm. So let us draw the further simplified equation 60 volt in series with 60 ohm resistance because these two 30 ohm resistance are resistances are in series. 2 amps source is here and this is 40 ohms resistance and these are terms A and B. Let's so say this is VTH. That doesn't mean this voltage is VTH. Let's apply this is actually single node circuit. Let's apply KCL node VTH. VTH minus 60 volt over 60 ohm plus VTH over 40 ohm plus 2 amps equals to 0. So clearly VTH multiplied with 1 over 60 plus 1 over 40 is equals to minus 1. So clearly VTH is equal to minus 24 volts VTH is equal to minus 24 volts so let's draw the Thevenin's equivalent now Thevenin's equivalent is simply a voltage source that is in series with a resistance that is nothing but RTH is 24 ohms and VTH is minus 24 so that's why I am inverted 
the terminals the negative terminal is upside and the positive terminal is downside now it is can be it can be written easily 24 volts because the terminals are inverted now Norton's equivalent circuit Norton's equivalent is it is clear that I Norton or I short circuit current is nothing but VTH or RTH which is 20, minus 24 or 24 this is minus 1 amp so clearly we can draw the circuit like this this is 1 amp you can write 1 amp because uh, the current flowing direction is downwards so this is uh, as well 24 ohm resistor these are the terminals A and B these are the terminals A and B these two are the Thevenin's equivalent and not an equivalent that's it. Thank you.